Brotherhood of the Eternal Light, teaching the Western Mysteries. The Sephirot on the Tree of Life. Keta. From the Orin Sof, the infinite light that is beyond any form of existence, emanates Keta, the first Sephirah. Keta corresponds to the number one, complete divine unity the one divine beyond duality. The colour of Keta is pure bright white, traditionally, according to the Kabbalist Cordovero, radiant dazzling white. Keta means crown because it represents the highest principle, the crown of existence. Keta is the origin of all being, in Keta all is one, because Keta contains within itself the totality of all things. In Keta neither space nor time nor any form of separation exists. The divine name of Keta is Ehie Asher Ehie, literally, I will be who I will be, meaning I am the eternal being. The archangel of Keta is Metatron, the prince of the countenance, the prophet Enoch lived a life in alignment to the highest principles and he was transformed into the archangel Metatron. Metatron is traditionally regarded as the highest of the archangels. He stands face to face with God. The angels of Keta are the Hayat HaKodesh. This means the holy beings. They are the four exalted angelic beings that carry the throne of God in Ezekiel's vision. Keta, the first Sephirah, in which everything is still inextricably linked together, can be compared to a point. Mathematically, the point has no extension and is the all unity. Another symbol of Keta is the altar light. In practical magic or ritual work, the altar light is located in the center of the altar. It represents the eternal, divine, primordial light which we always turn to. From this forever burning light, an infinite number of lights can be lit. Another assignment is the allegorical description of an old bearded man in profile as a symbol of the one God. Traditionally, it is said that the side that is not visible has female characteristics, symbolizing that the passive aspect of Keta is directed towards the Ein Sof, the unmanifest, and the active aspect is faced towards creation. The planet Pluto is assigned to Keta. In Kabbalistic astrology, Pluto represents the uncompromised striving for the best, because Keta is the purest, most perfect, and most sacred principle. In the Kabbalistic tradition, we also find the term Reshit HaGilgalim, which means the beginning of the swirling movements and may well be thought of as analogous to the Big Bang. In the human body, the crown of the head is assigned to Keta. In Refua, their Western way of spiritual healing as taught by Salomo Baal Shem, we use the focus devotion to this highest principle and apply it to the human body. You will find the link in the video description. It is the crown of the head through which the divine healing energy is received. In Hebrew this divine healing energy is called Shefa. The level of the soul associated with Keta is called Yechida. This is the stage of development of the soul where there is no separation. The four aces of the tarot were assigned to the Sephirah Keta. They stand for the primordial forces of the elements. 
the virtues of Keta are perfection, completeness and completion of the great work. In Keta there are no vices. The spiritual experience of Keta is union with God. However, this is not a permanent state as long as a human being is still incarnated. That is why it is called adhering to God in the Hebrew tradition. The student of the mysteries experiences that there is no longer any separation at that level and that all things are directly interlinked and interwoven. You may now wish to watch videos about the other Sephirot on the Tree of Life. It would be best to proceed with part two, Hochmar.